So this is a dark thing to say, but I'm just gonna say, uh, lately I have felt like, um, and correct me if you feel differently, when I hear that someone has died, like if I hear if you know a family member of a friend has died, my gut tells me that there's like a 75% chance that it was cancer related. Yes. That that seems overwhelmingly what is causing deaths, unfortunately. And the weird thing is, the news that we just saw in the past week shows that apparently the situation with cancer is actually getting a little bit better. So the overall death rate from cancer in the US declined by 29% from the early 1990s to 2017. The largest ever single year drop in cancer deaths, 2.2% spurred significantly by a dramatic decline in lung cancer deaths occurred from 2016 to 2017. And so to some extent, I think that perhaps it's just I'm being you know deceived by anecdotal evidence. But it really does feel like despite the progress, and I know that there's a million people working on this issue every single day, that it is still overwhelmingly the thing that is that is causing deaths. Um, I think uh, cardiovascular issues are the top, but- uh, I think heart disease is still technically the most common. Yes, but then again, that's, yeah. Yes, there's a lot of different ways your heart can kill you, especially mm. if you're aging. There's a lot of other diseases that result in cardio, present as a cardiovascular failure or some kind of congenital heart failure yeah. or congestive heart failure. So that happens. Um, with cancer specifically, we there are these big, scary cancers that most people get. And this, I think, to me, just underscores the necessity to fund cancer research yeah. so that we can solve the big ones. Mm -hmm. Now, there are things uh, that we've seen over the years that early detection helps um, and treatment helps. Uh, our cancer rates going down um, are in line with other countries' cancer rates going down. We're slightly better than comparable countries when it comes to cancer mortality rates. Um, but uh, we are not the best. We have, what I think we're the fifth highest in terms of rates of getting cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I think this just underscores the need to fund cancer research more than anything. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, thankfully there's been a lot of great documentary research recently on, on perhaps why we get it at such high rates. In terms of what can be done about it, this is definitely one of those areas where the government can and has generally been helping to some degree at the very least. Um, but theoretically could do much more. And it's a very common thing for candidates even in this cycle to say that we're going to take this out. Like Joe Biden has frequently said, like that is gonna be one of my priorities if I become president, is gonna be funding anti-cancer research. The so the government- The moonshot. The moonshot, exactly. So the government can be out front involved in this. Um, they can also take us in the wrong direction. And so we have a little mixture of both with our current government. So Donald Trump had tweeted out, US cancer death rate lowest in recorded history, all caps lock for some reason, or all capitalized. A lot of good news coming out of this administration. This is so frustrating because he so is the most anti-science president in generations. Yeah, This is a guy who denies climate change. Or thinks that climate change just has to do with how clean the water is. But more specifically, yeah, exactly. But in terms of how clean the water is, he talks about getting rid of all these um, regulations. So as I said, we have, we're have we number five in terms of instances of cancer among the measured countries uh, per capita. And uh, yeah, we can cure it, but he's done so many things to keep giving it to us, mm. to keep giving us cancer. His deregulation of environmental standards has wildly made us worse off. Yeah. And not just that, uh, there, he has rolled back regulations that keep, um, that, that keep at bay factors that end up causing stillborns, yeah. stillborn babies. So he is up to the, it's literally called spontaneous abortion rates by taking out uh, the regulations that kept women from being contaminated, largely through like coal runoff that yeah. would and uh, particulate matter that end up killing babies in the womb. So exactly. he just loves this, this is the most Trump thing. If anything good happens, he claims credit for it. And it's yeah. so frustrating because at every turn he's working against those goals. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it doesn't mean that we aren't improving, but hypothetically his influence could be making it less of an improvement that it would otherwise be. And is it any wonder this is a guy who the only thing he like wants to fight against that he thinks causes cancer are windmills, honestly. And so to be clear, Gary Reedy, CEO of the American Cancer Society said the mortality trends reflected in our current report, including the largest drop in overall cancer mortality ever recorded from 16 to 17, reflect prevention, early detection and treatment advances that occurred in prior years, that it was not Trump decisions that caused that. And in fact, we cannot forget that when a budget is made, 
It is an enumeration of our values and what we value and what we don't value. And Trump's 2020 budget plan slash National Cancer Institute funding, nearly $900 million. That's a significant amount, a lot of research can be done with that money. That's not to say that they have not provided some funding for cancer research, but they have regularly in their budgets defunded that sort of research. And if you're gonna try to claim credit for being responsible for cancer rates dropping, how about you at least fund the research that's leading to those drops? No, it's just a lot easier for him to claim credit after the fact. It is simpler. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.